going to do an unboxing here for Terra Clips, The Streets of Malifaux, some 3D assembled terrain by Worldworks Games and Weird Miniatures. And at the back of it, you get the contents that comes in it. Let's see if I can focus on the contents a little bit. Then you get some instructions on how some of the basic pieces go together. None of these sets come with the clips. You have to buy the clips separately. And I unboxed the sewers earlier. It looks like you get a standard format with these sheets. You get a six, two six by six squares, four three by three squares, and then some counters. So this is some basic layouts for streets. Get some body counters and some poison counters and just different designs on the back. Have some stairs here, pieces to assemble the stairs. You get the uh, side pieces and the rungs and then some flat pieces that look like they go in between to form the steps. Looks like you got pieces to some sort of ramp. Some other what look like maybe railings. I'm not quite sure what these pieces are. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a basic cobblestone marble pattern. Look to be railings right here. Another six by six, three by three set. See the different designs on there. Got some little like blank counters. You flip over, you got some blood counters. And then just different designs on the back. We have some, these look like walls with some sconces in them. And then just walls going along the top. Some little, blood smears here and there and then the other side is basically the same a little bit different graphic wise but just for a little variation and another six by six and three by threes with some counters they're popping out of these pretty easy the back side of the counter we've got some bloods and some X's kind of see the backs of the three by threes Six by six that are popping out easy out of this set. Some more six by six, three by three combos. Some more counters. These look to be just blank with cobblestone streets. And then the backs of them have X's and one with a treasure. And then just different design for those squares. Some more walls here. Another six by six and three by three. A lot of this is just variation on design. Some more counters, corpse, scrap. Here's another six by six. You got kind of a fountain or a pool there. One with a well. Some looks like body parts counters. Poison and scrap on the back. And then on the back of those others, just different designs. A lot of cobblestone. Another six by six and three by three sheet. Some corpse counters. Another what looks like railing and uh, ramp pieces. Another six by six and three by three. Kind of see, they're pretty standard on these. Some more blank counters with 
These have stones on the back of them. Got another sheet of walls here. Looks like a couple more sheets of them. This is walls with some doorways. We got some doorways and some arches here. Pieces for the doors. Walls with doors in them. Same thing here. It looks to be a almost identical sheet. There may be a few graphical differences. And then the last sheet is another 6x6, 3x3 combo. And with some counters. And then there's some different designs on the back. And I'm going to get these punched out and depending on time I'll just either attach it to the end of this video or do it and then stack them together so you can kind of see the variety of what you get once it's all punched out. So I have everything popped out of the streets and I'll take a quick look at everything here real quick. We have the 6x6 squares, the 3x3s, these are some sort of railing pieces. We have some doorways and archways. These are just side walls. You got the uh, short ones and long ones, some more archways and doorways and long pieces. These are two pieces for the ramps and these little pieces fit in there I believe just to keep the miniature from sliding so you can have them at different parts of the ramp and leave them set still. And then these are the parts for the ladders and the stairs and looks like on the back they recommend you glue the stairs and ladders together so they probably wouldn't store in but as of right now everything that fits back in the box pretty good without too much trouble and then I put the doors and the tokens in some little ziplock bags so everything will close up in there pretty good just with a little adjustment to the side at least if you find something else to store it in the box will hold it in pretty good